What's up, Dragon Champions family? It's Bones88. We're doing a little update video on what's to come. Uh, it's just characters only. If you guys don't know, our good friend and, you know, Dev that reaches out to our community all the time, Lizard Breath, awesome, awesome person. Um, I'm sure if you play this game, you've probably even talked to her before. Uh, she's very, very active in the Discord and everywhere. I have Facebook, everywhere I see her, YouTube, everywhere. Awesome, awesome person. Can't talk enough about her. Well, she has a devlog in the Discord. And if you don't use Discord for these games, I str strongly suggest that you do. I see hundreds of people talk about how they don't want to use it or anything, but you'd be surprised. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome app that you get to connect to so many people, so much information about games you love all across the world. Um, it's just such an awesome thing, Discord is. But if you don't, I suggest you should uh, get a Discord. And in the Dragon Champions Discord, there's a, there's a devlog. And it's open to everybody. Um, she does it every Friday. And she gives us really cool previews on not only how of characters, but how they make them, the process they go through them. And uh, we're about to look through that. And I do these every month or so, so this isn't my first one. But she also has a YouTube showing off these clips. So if you don't want to get Discord and you have YouTube, just subscribe to her channel. And I think she posts on there every week, every Friday. It's their kind of annual thing she likes to do, which is super cool. Super cool. She shows us characters we don't know anything about, when they're going to be out, or anything, but we just know they're coming. So with that being said, let's not make this one very long. Let's, I'm, all I'm doing, I'm not doing anything special, I'm on our, the Discord, and I'm just going through her posts, and we're going to, I'm going to show you the videos that she posts too. So it's just kind of an overview, once again, for people who don't have Discord, or don't know about it. So, first we have a, another half pig, and his, his name is Cannoneer. Um, she posted a video of it, and let's check it out. Alright, looks pretty cool. He reminds me of Pigwald, for sure. I wonder if he's going to do the same kind of thing. There's a bunch of Easter eggs, I guarantee you. I'll have to look more closely. Something about Artie. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who that is. Here's the animations. I'm telling you guys, this half pig, these half pigs are going to be crazy. I was hoping the dwarves would be the superior uh, team, but I don't think it's going to be the case. I can only guess that someone with a cannonball is going to hit pretty damn hard. That was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Their animations, man. Cool eyes. Dragon animation. Like, they're, they're hitting this stuff out of the park. Their animations and everything are just cool. So, alright, so that's Cannoneer the Half Pig. So this is what she does. She's showing like the process of how they make a character, and this guy's pretty cool. You'll see the whole end process here, but um, you know it's the concept design. And Emerald Dragon, the the main guy, he draw it. He drew it up. So it looks like you don't need too many crazy art skills, uh, you know, to get your point across. So I don't know what that says. That's all in German. So they turn it over to the concept artists and they make a little concept art. And see, they have four different iterations. So, you know, they, I'm guessing they pick the top four they like. And they're like, all right, so what do we like the most? Um, my idea was to let the community vote on things like that and the next week release the next step. But, you know, who knows if that happens. It looks like his name's going to be Frank. I don't know if that's set in stone. But. And then. So maybe they just make it even further, or no, they pick the body style, see? I think it's this one? Or that one, I can't tell. But then they add color and more detail to it. But see, they ha he now he has like different costumes and um, weapons and stuff. So it's the same body type, just different armor and aesthetics. See, that's I like that. That's I like that one. That one's hilarious too. A little more silly though, so I really like that one. Also, let me know, let me know what you guys think. What ones do you guys like the best? And it looks like they they picked oh the one I liked with the thing on the end of his tail, but it looks like they took it off. 
Now he has some kind of rocket thing. So he must be flying up in the air. I like the one thing though. But yeah, he's got some flying devices here. A propeller on his... Which is still funny, I guess. Looks like he's a fisherman. Alright. And then they show, kind of show them converting it to the, the game. So it's very crude there. But they're in the middle of sculpting it and making it look good. And there's like the, you know, the end product. I think she shows us a video down here. And there he is in the game. So that's pretty cool. So I'm excited about seeing him. And he's a Pride member, I believe. Here's all this stuff. That's cool. So we already know about Kali. She's a Battle Pass character, so I'm going to skip over this. So the next one, we have a Orc. A new Orc, so that's interesting. Here's some crude drawing, drawings of him. He's got like a VR mask thing going on and bow and arrow. I really like this thing, the, the rock. But let's see where it goes, what it goes into. So this is the next step. So cool. I really like the, the you know, the spike ball. It looks like that's what they're going for. And yeah, here's more. Here's his back. Now here's some with some color. So that's what they're going with there. I'm glad they kept that spike ball. That's cool. I kind of liked it with the chain, though. That was pretty cool. He got all kinds of them. It looks like he breaks them a lot because they're all made of that. That's pretty neat. He looks cool. I can't wait to get him in the game. Here's some more drawings of him. I don't think we have a video of him. So STEM. We've been talking about STEM for a long time. He's in people's kits. Um, we've been talking about him. Where is he at? Well, I don't know. But um, I don't know if I showed this before, but I don't think I have. So here's a video of STEM. He looks cool. He's going to be another one of those models that take up the whole screen, though. So... I don't like that. I mean, you can still make them feel big, but like shrink down the model a little bit. Because Arno drives me crazy. I think even Patriarch Key does it. But he looks cool. He looks like a kind of a, like a Russian dwarf. I'm really glad they're keeping like this dwarf lore. Because dwarves are always known for like their weapons and their technology and stuff. No matter what the time period is, they're usually the ones that are the most advanced. Like they ha they make the best armor, blah blah blah. It kind of reminds me of Skyrim, actually. It kind of looks like the Skyrim armor, and you don't ever see dwarves, but you go into dwarven ruins, and that's what the robots look like. Like that's what you fight is a bunch of ancient robot technology, and they're bronze like that, and they kind of look like that. So I kind of I really like that because I'm a huge Skyrim fan. All right, so there's that. So Stim looks pretty cool. So here's this croc that we just saw in action. Like I said, it's all kind of sporadic, the footage is and the, all the stuff, but like I said, it's just cool to see what's coming in the game. I mean, he looks awesome. I can't wait to get him. Pride, as everyone knows, is my favorite faction in the game. So anytime I can add to my pride and make a cool uh, two pride team, I'm ecstatic. Because there's some good Revolve League teams in Battlegrounds. Alright, let's see what he's up to. A little stab to the stomach. Stab, stab. Because sometimes you can tell, tell if he's healing. That's kind of a... They almost look alike. His second ability and... His basic ability, there wasn't anything that cool about it. So an AoE. So two single attacks and an AoE. So he's pure attack. Which is fine with me. That's what that's what Pride needs, is more attack. Okay, so this is the newest one. She released yesterday. Uh this is cool. It's an elf. And by looking at these, this is a pretty cool. It, I really like this thing, but being like a Final Fantasy VII fan, I was like, yeah, all day. Please give me that. Like, that gives me Final Fantasy VII vibes completely. 
And then this is what they decided. So they, they're staying with the old sword or the big sword, but they have different iterations of it. Let's see where they go with it. Yeah, dude, she looks cool too. I love her. Oh, they're they're doing such a good job. I have faith in them, guys. I know I had a big long spiel video, but I have faith in them. They're doing a good job. Their characters are awesome. They're just getting better. Look at her. I love the long braids. I love the way she looks. The huge sword. It's not quite Final Fantasy VII, but you know, I mean, like, I like it. I love it. I love her. There's no uh, footage of her. Um, so that's about it. I didn't want to make this one really long. I just wanted to show you guys what's coming up. Um, you know, be patient. I think the, the game's not dying, I don't think. And I just think things are going to get, are just different. But, you know, I'm not going to get a big spiel. I'm excited for what's to come for this game. Um, they haven't done anything where I'm like, I'm going to leave or anything. So, so as long as they're still in it, putting out content, to me, it's not dead. And I'll always be here. Uh, maybe I'll spend less or something, you know, if I can't afford stuff after a while. But it's not a, it's not a, it's, it's not, it's the same thing to me as Galaxy of Heroes or Marvel Strike Force. I'm used to it. So, um, to a lot of people who are newer to this, they're like, this is bull crap. It is, guys. It is. But that's the way gaming is now. Um, you don't get DLC with your... You know, even if you go pay sixty dollars for a, an Avengers game, um, you're still going to pay for the DLC, and that goes for all the games. So nothing—you don't get everything for free anymore. They make an entire game and they pick it to pieces, and then they sell you those pieces later on. Anyways, I'm not going to rant about this. This is about a positive stuff. Um, I'm excited about these characters, and I cannot wait. Um, I love y'all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.